Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is a continuation to the video that we started last week. So in the previous video, I showed you guys how to draft it. This video is how to sew it. So this dress looks quite easy on the eyes when you're looking at it. You know, is it a dress? Is it um, a jacket? What is it? But it's just nice and bye-bye. But actually, if you want to make this dress neatly, it's going to be very, 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 very difficult. And I've taken my time to break down how you are going to achieve this dress with a, with a very, very clean finish in this video. I know that a lot of you watching me are beginners and making something like this will be a bit challenging so just to you know spice things up a bit i am going to offer five thousand naira to the first person that can prove to me that they can make this dress by next week by making the dress okay so it's not just to go and give the dress to somebody and then come and tell me that you've made it you have to take a picture make videos of yourself from the cutting stage don't film the whole thing just give me you know snippets short, short clips of when you're cutting it um when uh, at your pc needs together um, and also when you are done with the dress you reach out to me on the number that I will drop later on in this clip and you know um, we'll make a video call and you will show me the inside of the dress all the seams to, so that I can make sure that your finishing is perfect okay so you have um, today today is the 31st of March 2021 uh, you have one week from now so next week Wednesday um, anybody that has been able to meet the uh, my challenge should contact me on my number uh, if you can do it even before then uh, it would be very 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 interesting to see all right so you guys should start sewing i'll be offering five thousand naira to the first person that can prove that they can make it it's not a lot but it's something just to just ginger you guys okay so if you're a beginner or you're a person to brush up on your skill i offer online courses i'll be making um i'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch and decide if learning online will be convenient for you all right if you're interested send a telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen all right so have a lovely day enjoy the rest of the video bye bye all right you're welcome to this video in this video we are going to piece together what we cut in the previous video so if you've not seen my last video please be sure make sure to go and see my video on how i cut the dress that you can see on the thumbnail okay so now we can if you guys remember from the last class we had these two pieces like so and then what you would notice is that on one side on the inside here this part here unlike this part here where i ironed on sd okay here i've ironed on cloth gum it feels like um, the white um, interfacing that you see feels like cotton fabric that has an adhesive on one side heat activated adhesive so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to join the um, princess that cut together and notice that even though that this part here of the lining is made of the fabric because it's a jacket by the time we are done okay by the time we are done and we turn and we turn the um, lapel inside what you want to see you want to still see the by, by the time we turn here like so okay you want to still see the fabric on the inside you don't want to see the lining over here so that's why you have to make sure that this piece okay this piece here should that is meant for the lining should um, be cut out of the fabric Okay, so you see, I have joined here together. Next step is to head over to my ironing table and I'm going to spread and iron this flat. But before I do that, I'm going to join my lining the same way you just saw me join the fabric. After you have joined the lining, you push all the excess towards the lining and then you're going to stitch on top of it here. So I'm top stitching on the lining even though I didn't top stitch on the fabric. Okay, so I'm done ironing. Okay, so I've ironed this part here flat and I use the SD to make sure that it stays flat permanently. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two parts together. So you see this part here, this is the lining, this part here is the fabric. I'm going to join them together at the front here. So you see the front, I'm going to join them together now. But I'm not going to involve the um, neckline, just only from here straight down. So now I have joined this part together and with that we have created the lapel on the shorter side okay all right so here we have the long side of the front okay the side that looks like a jacket I'm going to join them together bottom to top I'm going to do the same thing to the lining I would also iron here flat as well okay 
Now, if you take a look at the lining, you will see that on the part of the lining that's meant for the side that has a lapel, I have uh, divided it into two. Okay, one inch after, one point five inches after the joining, I made a cut and added part of the fabric because when you turn it, you want to have the lapel. So on the side of the lining that's supposed to have that will be the side of your lining that will be facing where your lapel is, make sure you put half fabric. Half one should be half of it should be, um, be the fabric and half of it should be the uh, lining. All right, so I'm going to join them together now. All right, so when you are uh, when you are done joining them together and ironing both the lining and the fabric, the next thing you are going to do is you are going to join them together around the curve. So you are going to come from here. You are going to join them around until you get to the top over here so the next thing now is to notch around the edges and turn everything inside out then we're going to iron it all right so this is how the jacket parts of the front looks with the lapel ironed flat all right so let's move on to the back all right so now to handle this other part here this is what I have done. You see the back, I've joined here and I've held it to that. So let me show you what I did. If you remember from the last video, I told you to come seven inches from the shoulder and make a mark and that that is where your dart is going to stop by the time you are going from the bottom up. So you're going to mark the same points on your lining too. That's where our dart is going to start from. When we're starting from the top and going down. So before we start holding the dart, we're going to sew the front, then I'm going to hold the dart. held the darts on both sides after I joined the center. I did. I held, joined the center first before holding the darts. Do the same thing. That's the same thing I did on this other part here. But I'll press and iron this flat and we'll join this to the front. All right, so now the next thing is to join the shoulders together, okay? To join them together at the shoulder. So you see here, have you seen this part here? Necklines are facing themselves. Armholes are, and the armhole here there yeah, is facing itself so that's how you want to align it so as you can see this one side of the front and the and one side of the back so you take the lining out of the equation just hold only the two fabrics join the shoulder together at half an inch across after you join this part like so you turn it to the other side do the same thing to the lining okay you join the shoulder together half an inch across Now the next thing is to head over to the ironing table. I'm going to iron this part of the shoulder here. I'm going to iron the shoulder on the fabric flat. Iron the shoulder on the lining flat as well. Okay, so you can see what we have already at the top here. We have the lapel. We have one that is long and we have the other one inside here that is short. So the next thing is for us to make the collar. So you can see they are still separate. So that means we are making two separate collars and we are going to um, uh, attach them separately. Um, so what we're going to do is measure, what you're going to do is this. You're going to come one inch after this point, okay? You're going to come one inch after the front, okay? So you keep your tape. You put your finger where one inch is and then you are going to count from here all the way to the back so all the way to the back here we have 8.25 so we're going to use that when we're drafting a collar but also after we have the 8.25 what you would do is after your shoulder joining take note of the number that sits one inch after that line so you can see this way we have the shoulder joining over here one inch after there is three inches you're going to need that when you are drafting Okay, so to draft the collar, I'm just going to make a random border at the top here to have a straight line, okay? This line, if you have a paper that is straight, you might not need to make this line. Now, let me draw another border here, also so I can have a straight line where I'm working from. So all my measurements are starting from here. So now what I want you to do is I want you to come from the top and then we're going to make a mark at 8.25, okay? Make a mark at 8.25 over here in front of it here now the next thing i want you to do is i want you to place 3.5 inches at the beginning of here and at under this new point where you marked your 8.25 
okay so we're placing 3.5 here 3.5 over here okay now draw a line to create a rectangle okay so from here to here is 8.25 8.25 3.5 3.5 then you will come from the back here so remember i told you to take notes of where you have three inches that's one inch after the joining so i'll place 8.25 over here at this border that we have over here and i'm going to come to where i have three inches and i'm going to make a mark okay then i'm going to come up here i'm going to come up from this point at 1.5 inches make a mark okay and then i'm going to connect here to here all right then you're going to make sure that in front here you have two inches which is what i have left at this point then from this corner i'm going to come in by half an inch that's going to create a small curve at the top over there all right now i'm going to cut out so please watch how i'm going to cut this part i'm going to add allowance in some places and i won't add allowance in some places so watch here first of all at the bottom line when i'm cutting i'm not going to add any allowance to the bottom line over here okay then next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come over here in front of here i'm going to add half an inch for sewing allowance okay at the top here i'm not adding anything and at the back here i'm going to add half an inch for sewing allowance all right so just do that use this pattern to cut four pieces because you know there are two um, sides of your collar so use this, this pattern that we have here to cut four sides and um, you iron your stay on two sides out of the four i'll be back all right so now you can see this is what i was talking about i used that piece of paper to cut four pieces okay we have four pieces in front of us but only two of them have been ironed have uh, half ironed have st ironed uh, on them so i'm going to take one that doesn't that has st and one that does not and i'm going to join them together around the edges that you will see okay so we're going to join around here around here and around here but as for this slanted end where you have the slant and here straight we are not going to join there that's where we'll turn everything out of all right So you see this so now i'm going to notch here all right and i'm going to notch here and then i'll turn everything inside out okay and i'm going to take it to my ironing table and give it a good press be sure to do the same thing on um with these other two pieces that we have here but let me iron this first i'll be back all right so now after i have joined this now mind you this neckline and the other neckline um I will be joined the same way you're about to see me join it so after you have this part here iron flat what you're going to do is you turn this whole thing inside out you turn this whole thing inside out and you are going to plant the flat end so you see this end here that is flat we are going to plant it in between the fabric and the lining okay and we're going to stitch from here all the way to the front of the lapel all right With that we have made the lapel at the front so i'm going to head back to my ironing table i'm going to press and iron this and i'm going to repeat the same step on the other side of the front but you can see you can see the whole lapel already all right so you can see here we have made both sides of the lapel we have added their individual colors um, to the body the next thing is to join the zipper allowance together Well, I didn't lock it at the beginning and at the end that's because I want this part to just stay in one place while I figure out the rest of the body and um, everything we might need to open up that back when we want to actually fix the zipper I want to just join it together so that I have a bit of control over what I am doing okay all right so after ironing the joining flat next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the sides with half with 1.5 inch of allowance okay so you see this I'm going to flip open that part like so take your lining out of the way join the two sides of the fabric together 1.5 from the armhole and then 
you're going to repeat the same thing on the lining as well so now the next thing is to iron this joining flat so you see here i'm going to go and spread an iron here flat and i'll do the same thing on the lining as well okay so now i'm going to divide here see why i didn't lock it so that by the time i repeat there'll be nothing stopping me now i want you to get the bottom side of the back so the skirts okay the skirt side of the back you're going to get the skirt part of the back that is going to rhyme with this part here okay all right so you can see Look at where I marked the um, points for my zipper. This side here, of course, is the hip. So you see this here? We are going to place it like so. So we know that we'll consume half inch for our zipper on this part here. And we know that we'll consume um, our that. So you keep this part here like so. Pick this side. Pick up the center where you're going to hold your that. And make a notch. So what I just did there. So that you are sure that the the notch is aligning with the rest of the body okay so once again by the time you, you know that by the time you hold your darts you can see that this side here is aligning with the body and you have half inch here where you used to turn you have half inch in front of here where you used to turn the lining so you see here i kept half inch out okay before i marked the darts so i'm going to mark the darts on my lining and i'm going to hold a regular that's half inch that's from here down i'm going to come down by 3.5 i'll do the same thing on my lining So now after holding your darts, okay, after you've held your darts on the lining and on the fabric, you see that I've done that, we're going to come to the bottom. Remember we cut the lining shorter by 3 inches. The lining is shorter by 3 inches. We want to pull it up. Okay, stop 3 inches or 2.5 inches before you get to the end. Back stitch it there. That's all we need for now. And then you're going to pull the lining to become the same level with the fabric okay put the lining to become the same level with the fabric and join them together half an inch so now i'm going to head over to my ironing table i'm going to turn this inside out first of all and i'm going to give this a very very good press and i'll be back to show you the next step so after you iron the skirt parts the next thing is to join it to the body so you see this here this is the back remember this you are joining it to the back side that has the long blazer parts attached to it okay so that's what we're going to do now you're going to bring them like so okay turn it inside out see that align them like so and then we're going to join them together from the beginning all the way into the lining and consuming half an inch just like so along Alright, so after we are done joining the other side, we have this part here. Now this part is the, um, is the other side of the dress where we have the short lapel, the short, um, the short parts and um, the back is short, the front short and the back is short. On the other one there that we had, you can see that the, uh, the front was longer than the back. Okay, you can see that the back is higher. Um, it's sitting a bit higher than the than the front that because of we cut it with the slant because the your half length at the back is shorter than the half length at the front so i'm going to do the same thing i did with the back i'm going to place the dart points okay so basically the same thing i did before that i'm going to do here all right so now it's time for us to work on the front so before i that is i'm going to join the bottom together okay so you're going to join the fabric and the lining together at the bottom so just like what we did the first time we are going to start from 2.5 and stop before 2.5 and you fold this part over here okay and then you're going to get the front remember we joined 1.5 up here on the side when we're joining the body we joined 1.5 at this point so you're going to come after 1.5 okay so you see here this is the side this is the center joining okay if i lay this flat okay in fact as, as a matter of fact see this place that you like open flats at the armhole okay at the armhole of this top part here where we join front and back together of the short one 
I want it to lay here flat. You see this? Lay here flat, and then we are going to make a dart right over here. Okay? So, you see this? That's what we are going to do. That's how we are going to make the dart. We are still going to hold 3.5. I'm going to drag up the lining, and I'm going to make a dart on the same on the same points. All right. So now that I've done this that as well, I'm going to head over to my ironing table. I'm going to iron all the dots and I'll bring this um, back side I recently worked on and join it to this part of the skirt. All right, so you can see here we have um, the back. So you see this part, this is one side of the back, the side that we just recently worked on. I'm now going to join the front to the back, okay? Fabric to fabric, um, to fabric lining to lining. I'm going to consume 1.5 everywhere here from beginning to the end, okay? So you see that I have consumed the fabric from the beginning all the way down to the end. Now that I'm at the bottom, I'm going to continue into the lining separately and I'm still going to consume only 1.5. After we have worked, we have joined both the fabric and the lining, what I want you to do is we are going to need to sew across because you see this, you still have a little hole inside here because we join fabric and lining separately. So we are going to continue the half inch stitch that we have on the bottom from here across to the other side. While we are doing that, we are going to make sure that we spread our seams flat. So you see this, I am spreading the lining flat, we are going to make sure that the fabric underneath too is also flat at the bottom when you sew this half inch across. I have just joined half inch from one side to the other. Now I'm going to iron here flat. You see this joining? I'm going to iron here flat as well as this part too. I'm going to also iron here flat all the way up. All right, so I'll be back. Let me do that. Okay, so now look at it. If you see on the inside, I have spread and iron both the fabric and the lining. The next thing is to join your fabric. You see this here? You see this here? This part here is the top side that we have. Okay, we're going to join it to the bottom part. That's the skirt part of the dress, okay? I want you to even join this part first. Let's hold this part so that everything stays in one place and you will just have to, you won't have to fight with too many layers. <coughs> All right, so now I'm going to join here and here together. So you see this, pick up only just the fabric, lay it flat like that bring the zipper allowance of the top okay so you see here this is zipper allowance this part here is zipper allowance align it with this part here okay at the zipper allowance over here make this part face that the front of the fabric face the front of the fabric you should have the zipper allowance of both the skirt and the fabric sitting on the same edge turn everything inside out so you see this you are planting the bodies in between the lining and the fabric okay so that's what we're going to do now we're going to come from here align it at the beginning use here to cover the fabric and we're going to join them together by the time you get to the end of your bodies i want you to stop okay if i turn everything inside out you'll see that now we have joined we have joined the skirt part to the body. It's now time for us to join the other side to this part here so that we can wrap up the show, all right? Okay, so now after you've joined the top part to the body, what I want you to do is we're supposed to complete this stitch. So you see this stitch where we stopped at the end of the top, our most recent stitch, complete it, okay? Okay, so after you join this part, okay, so you can see where the lapel stopped this is the side that we just sealed as the waist okay now we're going to come to the bottom remember we stopped this too at 2.5 complete this stitch as well and then the next thing you are going to do is you're going to join the zipper allowance back but this time you're going to join the zipper allowance from the top all the way down because now we have completed um, the back of both sides okay you can see before we stopped at the half cut when we joined our zipper but now we have all this part here
you see that now we're also going to come to the bottom part here you see this 2.5 that we left we're going to finish it too and now time for the interesting parts we need to join all these parts that we have together okay so you see this part that we have here we're going to need to join them together the sides but you see here here is just a half jacket so how are we going to join it because here it cannot go all the way down but we need this part here the armhole to sit with the armhole so what we're going to do is this you're going to bring this part over here okay we're going to bring this part over here and align them at the waistline okay you see that you are going to pick up only just your lining you see this pick up only your lining watch closely you see this i'm aligning you see the lining the line that you have on the waistline here pick up this other part that's incomplete and just basically join them together from the bottom all the way up to that point okay so you're going to come to the end over here okay where you have the fold you're going to align both of them right there you're going to join them together basically just stitch them together to hold it in place to hold them in place okay mind you only the lining is involved in this part so we are up to we are up to the waistline let me just complete this stitch we're up to the waistline you see that the um my fabric and the lining you see this line here my waistline and the lining joining where the body met the skirt part they are sitting on the same level all right so i have done this part here now the next thing we want to do is we're going to take the whole suit part so you see this here you see this here we're going to take this part you see and you're going to align your lining you see this you're going to align the lining together now you know that we are dealing with the armhole around here okay we are dealing with armhole so what i want you to do is join the lining together you see this like so so you see look at the skirt here the lining would climb on top of the skirt until you get to the end of the lining we are going to join the armhole using 1.5 inches of allowance which is what we have been using so you see this now this is just lining to lining i've taken i've taken the fabric away from the from the mix okay so join the lining so you are joining the body and the um you are joining the uh, both sides of the lining together 1.5 now we have joined that part together okay remember we still need to make everything lining to lining fabric to fabric so you can see this with that we have joined the lining see this the lining has been handled the next thing is for us to handle the fabric okay so if you look over here we have joined the lining together see this lining to lining like we've been doing but you see where the jacket stops okay so now the next thing is to join them together fabric to fabric okay so watch what i'm doing now you are going to pick up both sides of the body and turn them around like so okay so you see this so you have aligning the armhole together now mind you one side of the armhole would have a half cut and the rest of the body and the other side would not so yeah you're going to need to join them together it's a lot but if you take it step by step you you can get it done so we're going to now join these parts now together the two sides of the armhole we're going to join from here all the way to the half cut till you get to the half cut okay so after you have joined this one and stopped at the half cut you see this part here this part here is where you have the lining okay where you join the lining at the arm where you're going to pick it up come to that same point the half cut and make it match with the half cut on the fabric okay so after you have done this after you have aligned the half cut to the half cut make sure that they are at the same points as the top over here you're going to start stitching from here all the way down okay make sure you 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 will see the jackets inside here make sure you align it properly make sure the jacket is laying flat okay and now you're going to continue sewing that 1.5 all the way through let's take a look at the magic how do we do that you come to the armhole of the body 
You see this, after you do that, you come to the armhole of the body, simply pull everything inside out from there. Look inside here, you see how I've uh, finishing. You can see that here is clean all the way out. You can see on the other side too, it's clean. If you look inside the skirt part on the on in fact, turn the whole thing inside out. If you want to take a look at it, and you'll see that everywhere is clean. There is no rough edge showing at anywhere. If we, if we flip it to the other side, you'll see the same thing. No rough edge anywhere. All right, so I've ironed it. And this is how it looks okay this is how it looks so this one here i'm going to need to install a button here to keep it this way okay but you can see we've achieved what we're looking for i'm going to now fix my zipper but i'm not going to film that part if you want to see me fix the zipper watch my um, watch a video how to fix a zipper on, on very stretchy fabric and you will see me do you will see the basic uh, idea behind what I'm about to do. So, all right. So, what you can see in front of you here is my sleeve and uh, my sleeve and the lining meant for it. Now, if you want to know how I drafted this sleeve, please go and see my video on how to draft a sleeve to show you how to cut the armhole part, and then also see my video on how to sew an off shoulder um, an off shoulder double breasted jacket in order to know how to cut a long sleeve. Okay. But with that out of the way. As you can see, I have joined the bottom of the sleeve and I have ironed it flat, both on the fabric and on the lining. So now I'm going to join here together, okay? So you see this? See the way I'm twisting the sleeve, okay? See this? I'm placing the front of the lining, facing the front of the fabric, and I'm going to go around the armhole now, okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm, sewing, I'm joining them together half an inch. Mind you, the lining is shorter than the fabric. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn everything inside out from here. So I'm going to come from here, then I'm going to simply just drag this one over the body. Make sure you align both sides of the bottom of the sleeve together, okay? And it's time to fix it to the body. I'm going to come to the other armhole, which is this part here, okay? I'm going to take the bottom of, I'm going to take the bottom of this armhole here, of the sleeve here. You see this, the bottom, and I'm going to align it with this armhole pick it up, move the lining out of the way. I'm joining only the fabric together. I'm going to go around, I'm going to go around the armhole, joining only, uh, using only half an inch. So I go around. Now the next thing is we're going to join the other part of the sleeve. So you see here, we're going to join here too. So you see this, we're going to keep the joining facing themselves and then you're going to turn the whole thing inside out. Now you won't be able to sew the armhole completely, but I want you to seal it to be as tight as possible. The more you sew, the more difficult it will be. Okay, so when it becomes too difficult and you feel like you will soon make a mistake, you stop and you bring the whole thing out. I'll show you what I mean now. But basically keep the two sides of the joining I just showed you together. And then we're going to go around the armhole now. We're going to go as deep as we can. Okay, so as I was sewing, the deeper I went, I realized that it became more difficult to stitch because look at the hole we are trying to close here. So you see, I've come from here and I've come all the way to this other part, but it got too difficult. So what we're going to do now is this. I'll come from this side. Look at this. You see, look how neat it is. You come to the inside, pick up the rough parts, and then we're going to continue from this other part right now, okay? So it's going to still be a bit difficult, but it'll be um, easier to stitch it properly than it was before it stops. So we're going to go from here until I cannot go anymore. Okay, all right, so you see that? Now, if I turn the whole thing, if I turn the whole thing over here, you will see that we just have this little hole here. So what we'll do is we'll pick up both sides of the hole and then we'll simply just stop stitch it outside here okay because there's no other place because of the way it was made 
it's going to be difficult to come out anywhere else. So we'll just join, put the both of them together like this, make the rough work to face inside, and we'll simply just keep it and we'll make a small stitch on the outside. Because we have struggled and we've gone around the body, the hole that we have left here to seal is really, really small. So it's really, really, it doesn't really matter. It's a lot better than having all our our stitches showing on the outside anyway okay so we're going to complete the small stitch now okay so with that you've come to the end of the jacket everywhere has been finished neatly next thing is just to iron it cut all the excess thread and fix the button that you have to put here in front okay now at this point i feel like you have a choice of making it a functional button or you can just make it a button that seals everything shut what I mean is that over here, you can install, you can make a button hole here and put an actual button that would allow you to button it and open it. I think it should just make um, putting it on that much easier, okay? But if you still seal it and just use the button and tuck it down here and hold it in place, it won't really do much harm because it was made to be like a regular um, dress, not a jacket. But I feel like adding that button there going to be just more um, will just make it you know that much better um yeah so this is how you go about the entire sewing process i'll need to use my scissors and cut all these threads that are hanging everywhere uh yeah that's the end okay have a lovely day thank you for watching the video yeah i'll see you in the next video bye